What's going on, everybody? It's Emmanuel Lunk and Ready for the Lifestyle. And in this episode is a little story about how I got on a $30 million contract selling goods. So if you haven't been on my channel, definitely like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the, uh, the comment button and just leave me a little something. I mean, if you like it, thumbs up. Uh, definitely show me that you love the content. But um, I definitely want to go in to tell you about the story about how I jumped on to subcontracting with Amazon as a wholesale distributor. So on this channel, we talk about a whole bunch of tips and tricks. If you haven't been on other videos where we're covering a lot more about product opportunities, um, what manufacturers or brands we actually represent. So, you know, I'm a part of a, a, a company that represent over 200 manufacturers. So if you're looking to probably get into the wholesale distribution uh, lane or just reselling, even reselling in your, your hometown or uh, there's so many different categories you could be reselling, not just online, then you need to be on SavvyBusiness.com and I'll probably visit the site while we're on here because I definitely want to show you uh, at least to give you some of the background and show you that I'm actually still on the contract that I started. So. Uh, but if you're into reselling, definitely go sign up at SavvyBusiness.com and get you one of those accounts. There is two different accounts. There's a free account. Obviously, if you're actively selling, you might want to go ahead and pay that $40 subscription. It'll get you access to credit lines. It'll get you access to lower minimum orders from, from the manufacturers, also rebates, and a whole lot of other stuff too as well. And if you're looking to do any government bids, which is something that we do a lot more, uh, you might want to go ahead and just sign up for that $40. It's only $40 uh, a month, but you can cancel at any time. So let's get into this story right here. If you're always looking into getting into contracting, it could have been government contracting, it could have been contracting with agencies, local agencies, cities, you might want to go ahead and get certified. And if you have not got certified, that means if you are a business, women-owned, veteran-owned, minority-owned, or some type of uh, designation, like we're hub zone. Uh, you need to go ahead and get that prior to you going to look for subcontracting opportunities because it makes it a lot more easier for the prompt contractors to want to deal and do business with you. Um, these contractors have an obligation to do spending with minority or veteran-owned or women-owned businesses, and these are called set-asides, okay? And usually the government or the, the agencies procuring these services or products are looking for these large companies to step in and provide a service or a product. But within that, they have com the, the confines of the contract. The contract may state that there's a certain percentage that must go to a minority business owner or a veteran owner or a woman owner. So depending on that contract and where it's being serviced from, uh, they have these different criteria. So the contract that we're actually on is a contract that uh, Amazon won in 2022-ish. I'm, I'm gonna go and show you guys on the screen. So at least you, for full transparency, to show you exactly what it is. Uh, and not all of it, I'm not gonna show you every detail, but I'm gonna show you, at, I know most people just wanna see numbers and names and stuff like that. I'll show you some numbers, I'll show you some names, I'll click back and forth. But the, um, we're actually on a contract for $30 million for about four years maybe. So there's a different element to Amazon that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of a lot of people all see uh, the part of Amazon that is the public facing side, which is more of the retail and B2C, all right? But we focus on B2B. So we're heavily um, on B2B when it comes down to Amazon. So. And that's because of the contracting side. It's a different element than, you know, getting the package together and just shipping it out to your, your customer. Usually business customers is less returns, uh, a lot, uh, huger orders as well. So that's why we stuck to that and, and really leave any B2C transactions to any of the sellers out there. It's just not one of the games that we want to be in. So for us to get on this contract, what ended up happening was um, first we started selling stuff that was like our one-off close closeout items uh, on Amazon, and we seen that it, it wasn't so lucrative as people you know stated. There's a lot of competition out there, which is not it's nothing wrong with having competition. Just the fact that uh, having this competition uh, and and who you're servicing, it could be detrimental as far as your your growth of your company. 
And what we've seen is a lot of returns, a lot of uh, miss, miss op- missing opportunities because of customers misleading Amazon. And because of Amazon and most of these online retailers' policies, they are very customer-friendly. And that's something that we are too. But we also understand that in the B2C world, the platform that they put is, um, is, is heavily reliant on the customers, okay? And for any business owner, you have to look at the cost that's allocated to selling products. And obviously, the, co- the cost to return is also in there. And Amazon, because it's a, a very customer-centric platform, uh, the seller is pretty much taking on a cost if the item sells to the customer um, for shipping and um, and return. So that's another thing, too. That's a whole other thing as, as far as repricing uh, learning exactly what the game is when it comes down to selling an item, especially if you're selling and you're barely breaking even and you're, you're sending out the item to a customer and the customer either says they didn't receive it or um, they they just didn't like the item and they want to re- return it back. Now you're paying for shipping and you're, you're pretty much be in the negative. So after a few of those transactions, we, we quickly uh, grew to, to understanding that the market that we didn't want to be into was the B2C, obviously. It was just something that wasn't us. Um, and we seen an opportunity with contracting. So Amazon has a special side. Um, if you are a new seller, they, they usually give you, um, depending on if you have any of these certifications that I mentioned, and if you're looking to get one of those certifications, it, it's I wouldn't say it's all easy to get, but as far as on a federal level, and depending on the state, it may be easy to get. Uh, but you might want to go ahead and get certified. And I think Amazon also has a part on on there where you can get self-certified through Amazon and you can provide documentation so that you can do that and prove who you are and what the designation is. But anyway, um, so we, we were looking for other opportunities on Amazon. One of the, the opportunities were was just selling straight to B2B, okay? We've seen that on the government side, they had the Navy... We had, we've seen the Army, we've seen school systems buying from Amazon. So Amazon kind of started uh, carving out a, a different section uh, for sellers, resellers, especially larger sellers, to, to kind of penetrate the market and, and be able to have their own ecosystem uh, within. And as we were looking at this and, and doing digging in, um, our account manager, which, you like I said, if you just started – and you have any one of these designations, they will probably, I don't know if they still do, but they usually assign account managers to you. So uh, we had an account manager we used to meet pretty much like uh, uh, once or twice a week for a few months and uh, go over different selling points and and marketing and just try to get your your pain points out there to to kind of help you through the the selling process. And uh, we were telling them, hey man, you know, Yes, we're still interested in, in growing on Amazon, and um, we're happy that you guys are giving us all this help. But um, this is the the market, the mainstream market that you know everyone's portraying on on YouTube and, and whatnot. It, it's just something not for us. So uh, that led to another conversation, us digging in deep and and just saying, hey, well, is there any opportunities that Amazon has for their ware- warehousing? Because that's another thing. If you are in into uh, selling items, you can actually be selling to their warehouse spaces and, and uh, try to get a contract with them. But anyway, so we, we talked about uh, a lot of things and, you know, uh, he he actually took that to his team, His uh, took that to his boss, and his boss was telling him that Amazon is actually starting to pursue more uh, government contracts. And when he came back with that, he was like, perfect. You know, uh, we've done government contracts before, and we didn't know that Amazon was actually exploring this space. And what he had told us is that uh, the government is, uh, I guess they've been looking on Amazon, and they've seen that, I guess, the shipping times were faster, and sometimes the items were cheaper uh, than them going their conventional way, which was GSA or uh, Surfmart, which is uh, their, one of their mandatory sources. So started to have these conversations and, and to see exactly where it could go and and all of a sudden he you know he, he came up one week and he was like hey look Manny um you're one of the I'll say like 10 businesses that that's been very active 
Uh, you guys have like one of the highest sales out here as far as uh, in this program that we're doing. And we want you guys to be one of the subcontractors on um, this this bid that we're doing. I, and I was like, what bid? It's like, oh, we, we just want a bid uh, with Chicago Public City Schools. I was like, wow, this is right up our alley. And, um, you know, I let the team know and they, everyone was ecstatic, you know, about getting on the contract. And I said to myself, I was like, well, you know, sometimes it is just being in the right place at the right time or just having that conversation, you know, just going through um, going through. The, the motions of making it, not making it, and, and sometimes making it happen. But, you know, just with that conversation, he, he said, hey, look, I, you know, we're looking at your sales. We see exactly what you're, the stuff that you're selling is exactly what they're buying. They're buying, you know, school supplies. They're buying stuff, um, you know, for the year, next year coming. And um, it's a $30 million opportunity. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Are you serious? He's like, yeah. And we're actually looking at, um, piloting this program with your business in there, and I was like, "Wow, what you know? What we got to do to go ahead and get signed up?" The first thing he was asking for is to find out if we were um, we had a specific certification. Our certifications that we had, we still have, is a Hub Zone certification, which is federally recognized. Um, the Minority Certification, also a federal uh, certification, but you can also get one through your state. So we had to gather some documentation for them, submit that, and then literally, literally it was like no bidding or anything like that, signed a subcontracting agreement, got that uh, to their higher-ups. Um, Amazon higher-ups signed off on, a, on it, and we were one of the businesses in the subcontracting agreement. Um, so in that subcontracting agreement, because I'm, I'm gonna start showing numbers, I don't want, you know, everyone be like oh my goodness you know 30 million dollars but if you know about contracting government contracting or any type of contracting and um if you are not if, even if you're a prime it doesn't even matter if you're a prime or not but if if it's a set aside obviously there's a certain percentage that's allotted to a group so in this set aside it was 37 percent of a 30 million dollar contract that set aside for small business owners that's within uh, this opportunity. Now, just going back on what I said, there's only a, there was only a few businesses that were that's that actually had the opportunity to be on this because it was a pilot program. Ours was one of them, but we happened to have the most sales, and that's because we had the most diverse catalog. I mean, at the time, I think we were um, I don't know how many items line items we had. We had a few, a few diff uh, a lot of line items. So we're able. With our capacity, we knew that we'll, you know, pretty much take off on this contract. So um, going into the contract, um, you know, there was so many different things that happened. And trust me, it's still going on. But most importantly was being there and showing up and, and, and being ready. You know, we didn't have to make, do any bids. So that, you know, as far as like normal contracting, especially when it comes to the federal, federal um, bidding, a lot of people are saying stuff, uh, you know, they'll, they'll say stuff about Amazon being on Amazon and, and um, they're selling to the federal government or they're selling on DLA. Yes, we sell on DLA too. That's a whole nother story. But um, as far as Amazon, we didn't have to put in a quote. We didn't have to put in a bid. It was just strictly because we were in the right place at the right time. So we can just get past that. And and because um, a lot of people are probably going to be like, well, you had you probably had to go and, and bid. No, we didn't have to bid. We just was in the right place at the right time and selling a lot of stuff. So um, what I want to do right now is I'm going to show you the screen. And this is something else that I always tell people because um, when you're doing any type of contracting too, especially on the state level, um, your contract information is on a state level is passed around every state like so the contract that I'm gonna show you right now which is the largest contract that we have by far um, even though it's in Chicago and we're based in New York you can still see it on New York system which I thought was dope because I one day um, the guy was like oh you got to go through your audits you got to you know go through the audits and the money and all that stuff and I'm like oh I got to log on Chicago public city schools he was like he told me yes but then I logged off and then um, I had some other type of certification to take care of for the company. And I logged on to New York certification and I said, oh snap, the contract is here. And I clicked on it and the contract was right there. 
So if if you are doing any state contracting out of any state, usually they're all connected on the state level. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this. I'm not even gonna um gonna have to go ahead and sign in. I think. Just want to make sure. And I think I was doing. I had it up just now because I was also doing my Port Authority um, cert too. So let me see if I can share my screen. Yeah, I think I was doing my Port Authority certification. Let's see, oh, I signed out anyway. So anyway, this is the Port Authority certification. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So, but if you if you want to go ahead and sign up for the Port Authority, that's a whole. I think I'm gonna do a video about that too because I'm looking for opportunities for for um for the local airport that's not that far from us, which is JFK. I'm looking to to um, integrate our services over there as far as providing chairs and, and furniture uh, for the new terminals that's coming up. It's it's a multi-billion dollar contract that's out there. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I don't want you to see, you guys to see all of this. I'm gonna, hold on, give me one second. Let me just log in real quick because I don't want you to see my email, personal email. I'm using my personal email for that. Uh, okay, no, I think I'm in. Uh, let's see, I think I'm in, am I in? Okay, yes, I am. In, let's see my screen. I think my screen is showing. So, um, this is what it looks like. This is what the portal looks like, and it shows actually it shows all your active certifications. So, um, you can see exactly the ones that we are in on um, on sams.gov, and then it shows the New York City certification. I don't even see the hub zone one, but it should be there. This uh, should be somewhere over here. Um, anyway, and then there's some audits I gotta com complete too, but. Um, Wait, hold on, let me make sure I'm not showing you nothing crazy because I don't want to show you something crazy. Hold on, click on this and then. No, 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 let me get out of that. Let me get out of that. Uh, let's see, yeah, because there was some personal stuff going on there. I don't want that to be on. Then I will have to stop the video and do some extra stuff to go on that. All right, so here we go. All right. All right, so this is the, the contract that we're on right here. You can see, and you can go ahead and look up the contract yourself. So that's another thing too. I, I know a lot of people, um, in order for me to really talk about this, I'd rather show you guys some of the stuff so you'll be able to, to see for yourself that um, the, my company, Savvy Business, is, is actually doing contract work. Um, so you can see it right here, Chicago Public City Schools, and see Amazon is the prime. You can see that right there, shows it. Uh, the current value. We started this in, in 2022, so it ends next year. Um, the current value, $30 million, you see right there. Um, and I'm the primary contractor. You see the subcontracting right there. And let's see, what else can we show? Um, I'm not gonna show, sure. View contract, let's see, can we do view contract? Okay, I'm not gonna go, I think down there, does it show? Yeah, it shows some numbers and stuff. I don't wanna do all that. But you can see right here um, where it was procured and all the, the prime contractor information, but that's more public information anyway. Um, subcontractor, let's go there. So you can see our company is subcontractor right here. I can add, I think I could add on another sub. I'm not subbing out any work anyway, but if I was, um, I think I can add on that information there and the audits that had to be done. So, you know, most people just want to really see the money anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, so it started in 2022. Uh, now we're in April 2024. I have to do that audit too. I have two, two audits that haven't been completed. But, yeah, Amazon could be very lucrative as far as subcontracting. I haven't really seen any other business that I know of that's doing subcontracting work with Amazon. That's that's probably on their contract, um, only because of uh, capacity. I haven't really seen anybody with the capacity like that, which have been different. But um, hold on, let me see something. Oof. I think I don't even know if I had. Oh yeah, I took myself off the screen. Oh, put myself back on the screen. 
All right, so let's go back real quick. I think there was one more thing I wanted to show you. Cause you've seen that already. You've seen the audits or whatever. Um, and and they want you to do this too. This is something. It's mandatory to go through the audits to to make sure the payments and stuff was there. I'm not gonna go and click on on the audits because I don't want you to see too much details because they're gonna start showing like phone numbers and and whatnot. But at least so, so you can see that you know my company was on is still on a thirty million dollar uh, contract, and and this is only for goods not services. So that's another thing too I, I probably didn't mention. Um, there's no services being performed here, only goods. So meaning that they're ordering stuff from a platform um, that they have access to and they can see all of our certifications and um, they can see what we have and then that's how they make their purchases. They know exactly who's the participants in there um, I don't know too much about any of the, of the other companies, but I know they're a lot smaller and um, I, I, they have less than, I think the rest of the companies have less than 10 items maybe that they sell on a regular. But um, like I said, because we have a large catalog, we're, we're doing a lot more, um, which is a blessing too. So if you're, if you're not ready, you got to be ready, right? And you need to stay ready. So let me just tell you exactly, if you want to get into any type of contracting for product sales or anything like that, um, there's so much you could be doing, so many different marketplaces you could be potentially jumping into. And um, I think one of the things that you need to do is go ahead and sign up on SavvyBusiness.com and go here and show you exactly what that's looking like. Because if you want to have access to like a, a at least 200 plus uh 200 plus manufacturers and brands this is one place you can go to where you have low minimums okay we're giving you access to low minimums we're giving you access to credit lines so that you can buy and resell we're giving you access to, to rebates um, we're giving you also bid help too uh, that's the newest thing bid help and then also um, if you ha if you know anything about contracting the newest thing that we're bringing on is factoring. Okay, we're gonna have um, we have a companies that we we paired up with for factoring. So if you know anything about uh, government contracting and you need money to actually co to 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 initiate the con uh, uh, finalize the contract and get those goods from your manufacturer to the end user, then there's factoring companies that can step in. Uh, so we do have relationships that we're gonna only have for the members. So you can go here. Go to reseller membership sign up, and um, you can also look at other videos I've probably done, and you can just go ahead and just sign up. There's tons of tons of manufacturers and brands that we're att attached to that you could probably go on. But the biggest thing for you is that you have access to this with one application. You don't have to do multiple applications to do this, so you can actually go ahead and be impactful in different marketplaces. And I think in the next video, I'll probably talk about the marketplaces that you can go into outside of being online. Because, like I said, there is for Amazon, there is an online portion which everyone runs to, and you'll see a lot of videos on uh, about Amazon um, and that portion. But you're not going to see anyone talking about the contracting side, which I'm showing you right here, which is a a whole nother marketplace. So if you're interested in joining in, definitely. Look at my next videos. Probably going to be talking about some more manufacturers, but in this video, I showed you exactly what it was, man. $30 million subcontracting opportunities, Amazon. See you soon.